Welcome to my opinion here on My Opinion TV. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. So as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. And in breaking news, tonight we talk about an incident that has happened in Park Lane, that's off Red Hills Road in St. Andrew. And the St. Andrew North Police are processing a murder scene on Park Lane off Red Hills Road. Preliminary reports are that four persons were killed and a total of seven persons shot and injured during the incident. The police say about an hour ago, a group of people were on Park Lane when a motor vehicle approached. Our men reportedly opened fire on the group, hitting seven people. All seven was rushed to hospital where three years with four was pronounced dead. The police are redirecting traffic to other section of Red Hills Road as the scene is being processed. No motive has been established for the killings. The Park Lane community has had a history of gang violence. In February, there was a flare-up between gangsters from Park Lane community and rival gunmen from the neighboring 100 Lane community. Now, as it relates to Park Lane off Red Hills Road, we know for sure that this place has always had its sheer fear of violence. We, are, we also heard about the gangster that is inside prison pulling strings. We also heard about his sister being involved in criminal activities. She has since been taken in by the police. We don't know if these shootings are connected to those per two persons. But one thing for sure, Red Hills Road has had its sheer fear of violence. Sometime last year, another prominent person in the community was killed. Another lady was killed because they said she was not paying extortion money. And all type of thing has been happening um, off Red Hills Road. I think at one point too, journalist Mark Wignall was grazed by a bullet off Red Hills Road. So we can talk about all these situations in off Red Hills Road has been taking place. Now four persons have been killed tonight. And you can imagine the feeling. Someone, um, family member has died. Someone has lost a family member, father, brother, sister, whoever it might be. The identities have not been revealed yet by the police, but we are waiting to see what's the latest coming out of the Red Hills Road area. But for now, one thing for sure we can tell you is that four persons were actually shot and killed. Actually, seven persons got shot, but four have been pronounced dead at hospital. And how long will this bloodletting continue in our country? 700 and almost 50 murders so far for most of the, for this year. And we haven't completed July properly yet. How long will this continue? We have seen the police taking out gangsters. Guns are everywhere. People are dying. And can you believe Red Hills Road, uh, as I said, they have always had their sheer fear of violence. But since recently, the police have stepped up their operation there. And the gangsters, some have gone to various communities. But it seems as if they are back. And with one go, four persons, four lives, were snuffed out by these woodlums but i hope the police will get some lead i hope anybody who know about this incident or know the perpetrators will give the police some information because at no point should people lose their life like this nobody can sit down and enjoy the comfort of their community anymore the people are sitting down and enjoying their community and all of a sudden a car pull up and that's it four persons dead in Red Hills Road but as soon as we get more information we'll let you know still trying to touch base with our police sources to see if we could get the identities of the four but as soon as we get it we'll let you know but don't forget to like share subscribe click the notification bell so as soon as a video is released you'll be one of the first to be notified until next time stay safe look out for the children look out for a neighbor and most of all, keep it locked on My Opinion TV.